If anyone ever describes Suga as a scary, cold-hearted, passive-aggressive man with a dirty mouth, just laugh and move on. It's not worth convincing someone who insists on believing something that is so obviously against reality. People around Suga have repeatedly attested to Suga's kindness, generosity, warmth, and incredible humanity. And many still miss it. Yeah, at this point, they are a waste of time. It's their loss anyway. Because Suga is not just inspiring, he is quite literally, and with no exaggeration, the kind of person that can restore your faith in humanity. Here are some of the things Suchwita revealed about BTS's resident savagely kind producer, Suga. Hi! So this is just about Suga. It is natural for us to get to know him a little better because it is his show, so he appeared in every episode. <laughs> now, a lot of you have been requesting that I do a series on their friendship, their friendship in general as seven and the different combinations, all the different combinations. I told you that I am a huge fan of their friendship next to their music. The only reason I haven't done a series on that is to avoid inviting shippers. The last thing that I want is to turn you guys off. I think we all have done a good job at nurturing this community. We attract and invite people who are intelligent, who are just here to appreciate or discuss or get to know uh, Asian music, BTS, other Asian artists, and Asian culture. So I don't want to disappoint you and turn you all off. So that's the only reason I haven't done any uh, vi video on their friendship. Now, you provided good arguments, so I will do it, and I always value your suggestions with some caveats. Number one is that no shipping. <laughs> I am not interested in their personal relationships, in their romantic relationships. My only concern is that someday they settle down, be at peace, and be able to do what they want, whether that means settling down with themselves, I mean, being alone or with somebody else or whatever, whatever they prefer. Uh, next is that it will, of course, be very, very subjective and it will be based on what the 5% of what we know about their friendship, just the things that they allow us to see. So, and then there will be other disclaimers, which I will discuss when I start the series. Okay, but for this one, it's just about Shoga, but I do hope that you look forward to that series. And if there's any other topic that you want me to cover, please keep them coming. Thank you so much. If you have any requests, please leave them in the comment section below. You can also get in touch with me in any of the social media links that you see on your screen right now. And please, if you ended up liking this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and of course, share. On to the video. Suga confronts demons. Perhaps it's because K-pop idols are supposed to be spotless dolls, but it's rare for idols and other celebrities to be asked about controversial issues bluntly. From dating scandals to criticisms about their performances, you'd be hard-pressed to find idols being asked to address certain issues. Suga bulldozes through all of them. He does not shy away from answering controversial questions himself and gently gives people a chance on his show to address theirs as well. He asked El Capitan about his difficult journey from being forced to quit history, his group, because of his throat problems to trying again and failing again for the same reason, to coming to hype to confront and pursue his potential given his limitations. He asked El Capitan his thought process through each of the difficult decisions that he had to make. He asked Shing Dong Yup, the comedian, about his perspective in pursuing such a controversial form of comedy in Korea. He asked Um Jung Hwa about the limitations she is now experiencing as she ages in the industry. Each time he does so, he helps reveal a certain side of an artist people often fail to see. Often it's the side that makes them more human to the eye of the audience, the side that reveals their depth as an artist, the side that we need to know about the art and the artist. It's the side that reveals they are dumb puppets, they strategize their careers. Making people laugh doesn't happen by accident. There's a science to it, timing, setup, subject. You don't come up with groundbreaking music by wagging your butt. It takes an incredible amount of courage, creativity, and poetry to be able to do that. 
Suga unveiled those things and more, and he started by courageously confronting demons, majority of the industry are afraid of. Generous of his humanity, Suga doesn't just wear his heart on his sleeves, he throws it in the air, vulnerable to everyone within the vicinity. His friendship with El Capitan barely started when he offered to help. He didn't just offer financial support, but professional opportunities as well, making it clear he sees El Capitan's talent beyond his vocals. Suga helped another big hit trainee named No Ji Hoon with his hospital bills. Suga told Jimin and the rest of HYBE that Jimin needed to debut with BTS and made it very clear that Jimin's voice is to be nurtured and treasured. Given that Jimin had the shortest training period in the group, it's safe to assume they barely knew each other then. But he didn't hold back in letting Jimin know that he sees what Jimin has is something so rare they can't afford to lose it. He has made it his mission to be the senior artist to newer idols, the kind of senior artist they never had but needed when they were struggling. He proved true to his words when he had a longer and private conversation with Hoshi of Seventeen after the interview. He offered to work with Woozy. He encouraged Um jung to try what they are doing with their performances as they grow older. He puts it out there, makes it clear he cares for people, and offers his hand despite the possibility of rejection. Suga exemplifies the finest of what humanity offers. Each time, he restores my faith that the best of humanity hasn't been wasted away by greed and selfishness. There are good humans out there, and we can be one of them. ARMY is a partner of BTS. That part of Jungkook and Suga discussing armies, uh, it was one of the funniest parts of the show because you can just hear the funness in their voice talking about armies eventually becoming grandmothers. But it was when Suga said armies are actually now partners of BTS that I think he really, he really hit the nail. See the value of the parts independent of the whole. What makes Suchuita such an ideal place for artists is Suga's natural inclination to understand the process of creation just as much as he wants to understand the end product. It's that appreciation that leads him to ask the questions that leads to the understanding of the whys and hows of an art. It helps that he himself is an artist and directly experiences the creation itself. He knows what a real artist needs to do feel or work on when creating art. It goes beyond just inspiration, but the actual work that goes into it, he doesn't just ask common questions like, what inspired you? Or what's the meaning of the song? Or what makes you excited with your new project? He asks about certain details that others just ignore. And in turn, that helps him and the audience to understand how and why something was created. He asks when they first got the idea for the song, where they write, who they write with, the specific roles of each of the people that participated in the production of the music, why they chose a certain collaborator, how fast do they work, and other details. For singers promoting an album, he actually goes track by track. For actors, he actually asks for specifics about their movies or drama. By feeding his desire to understand, he demonstrates just how much he respects the artist because questions he asks lends itself to substance. In other words, only if you are confident something substantial will come out of the conversation will you ask the kind of questions he is asking. He asks intelligent questions because he knows that the artist he's talking with will answer it intelligently. If entertainment and art journalists and writers have half of Suga's natural curiosity, we will have a far more superior global entertainment industry because they will nurture an intelligent market and encourage intelligent art. He is blunt in his work as he is in his praises. Suga has confessed that his bluntness is the most common source of his misunderstanding with his father. Even BTS members have attested to this. In In the Soup, J-Hope jokingly told Jimin that he needed to shed off some of his confidence. 
Jimin agreed and he said that he will actually talk to Suga. But his bluntness extends to his praises. He is so comfortable in praising people that it comes off so raw and so real. He has so much abandon in his words that you know he didn't even think about what he was saying. It came to his mind and he just said it. He told Jimin he has a good flow in his raps. He told Ayu she's the best singer of her generation. He told Um Jung Wa she can just adjust her song to her current range and she would still sound as good. He told Jungkook his voice is so refined, he sounds auto-tuned. Seeing the best in people is so second nature to him. Suga's love language. I have always thought that acts of service is Suga's love language, primarily because BTS members themselves have talked about Suga's casual way of expressing how much he cares for BTS, uh, how spontaneous he is, you know, he would give them food and not even say a word. And so I thought maybe that is how he expresses his his affection or compassion or love. But Suchwita made me realize that maybe words of affirmation may also be one way for him to show how much he cares for somebody. Because he is so casually dropping praises and highlighting the best in the people that are on his show it made me realize that maybe showing how much he cares for somebody is just as important for him as being able to verbalize how much he admires and respects someone which makes me curious what is your love language let me know in the comment section security and confidence leads to his humility there are some people who become so arrogant once they become successful. Suga is the exact opposite. The higher he goes, the more humble he becomes. This is not to say he's not confident or aware of his success and skills. Several times, Suga has openly talked about his confidence in his own talents. When Ayu told him that he is the best producer of his generation, he just smiled and said that he is not going to reject the proposition. It is this belief in himself that has led him to continuously emphasize that he never wanted to be the most popular or the center of BTS. He simply wanted to do his part. He has repeatedly said that the vocal line is the one leading the group, doing all the things that are difficult, and he is just supporting them. While ARMY knows every member is valuable and successful, Suga has repeatedly emphasized that he simply is a part of a bigger whole. This is perhaps what makes him such a great producer while also becoming a great solo artist. He knows how to bring out the best in other people. He knows what he can create to bring out the best in people. He is a kingmaker as much as he is a king himself. He understands life on a human level. When Suga told RM that it is important for someone to be a fan of something, whether it is sports or a boy band, something clicked. It also made me realize why he wants to be a therapist and why he would be a great one if he decides to become one. He understands life on a human level meaning he understands life by understanding humans. And when I say humans, it's beyond age, social classes, and others. He just sees humans as humans. That allowed him to see beyond the prejudice and common misconceptions. One clear example of this is when he spoke to RM about the need for people to be passionate about something. It doesn't matter whether it's sports, music, or a K-pop group. It's not important what you are passionate about for, maybe as long as it is not harmful. Passion allows people to discover things about themselves and also widen their horizon. He ignores perceptions and misconceptions and discrimination. He just looks at people for who and what they are and what he sees is the commonality rather than the differences. We all need to get by. We all need to be passionate. We simply all need to make something of our lives. He also demonstrated this when he asked Taeyang if he feels the same kind of emptiness he feels when the crowd is gone. He wasn't just trying to get to know Taeyang, the idol. He was trying to understand who Taeyang was without the spotlight. 
he pays twice for what he receives. His guest, Kim Nangil, said that is actually the principle his family lives by. They need to pay twice for something that they receive once. Suga seems to be doing the same thing. And just as a trivia, we actually have this as a part of our culture in the Philippines. We have a term for this. It's called utang na loob or debt of gratitude. Once you do something kind to us or you help us in some way, we owe you for life. Suga seems to reciprocate generously. Once someone does something good to him, he gives back 10 times more. Yongwa of CN Blue said that after approaching BTS, Suga has consistently reached out to him, inviting him on their shows, telling him about their new projects, and supporting him on his own. And Tablo said the same thing. He said Suga has served as a reminder of what he stands for as an artist. Suga constantly reminds him that his music continues to inspire him and the rest of BTS. There are more actually, but this video is going to be too long. So maybe I'll come back to it someday. Let me know if you want more. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that. So I will be starting a series on their friendship. It's not going to be one continuous one. I'm sure there will be other things that will come up, but I'll start that series. But I will do J-Hope's album first and then that series. If you have any requests, let me know in the comment section or you can get in touch with me in any of the social media links that you see on your screen right now. Please follow me on Twitter or X and also my Patreon and um, Instagram for other personal projects that I will be announcing soon. Thank you so much. Please, if you ended up liking this video, give it a like and also subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a single video and share the video if you can. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys.